Hi, my name is Sharon Blinn. I was diagnosed at the age of 28 with ovarian cancer. And uh, at the time, I was just I was working in the music business, doing doing life in New York. And um, so that that diagnosis kind of really was a big um, a detour. And the first two thoughts in my head were, Oh my gosh, I'm going to die. And holy shit, I'm going to lose my hair. I have a twin sister, so I, I would be remiss if I didn't mention her because she's also um, she is my lifeline. She's my my other me and an older brother. And even amidst all the craziness and the violence that we grew up with, we formed this the Blinn love bubble, the Blinn kid love bubble. So even though I had all these examples of, of, of violence and negativity and abuse, we, we instinctively, intuitively, the three of us formed this bubble of love. And, and so I knew growing up, I knew what the alternative was. As a twin, I never feel alone alone. The cancer journey is very uh, lonely, actually. And so that was also one of the more difficult things is trying to get my it's one of the reasons that I knew I was going to survive. <laughs> Whoa. I didn't want her to go through life without me. I was always a protective towards her and had this maternal connection to her, and it was like, it almost wasn't about me. I can't let her go through life without me, because I knew how sad she, she would be. Although my physical anatomy is not in my control, my spiritual anatomy is. So I'm going to choose how I experience all of this pain and this, you know, these challenges and this struggle. And so I did things like, okay, I'm going to lose my hair, which was my, other than death, my second concern. I just realized like, oh, I'm, all these things that are happening, there's all this loss, but I'm experiencing it as gains. You know, I, I'm losing hair, and I thought that was my beauty and my identity, but instead I'm actually gaining a stronger, more deeper sense of myself. And this whole, the whole experience started to become this idea of, okay, how, how is it that I can still embrace myself and every aspect of this experience that, that society and everything you see about cancer tells you is loss and devastation and, you know, this, this whole thing of not being whole anymore and, and, and change, flipping the script on these experiences for myself and, and making it about how, how this is a part of my journey and becoming more of myself. You know, Bald is Beautiful is how I go out in the world. And, and it's amazing. I, I, when I'm just walking around and I'm just standing and walking in line in the grocery store and people like, they want to touch my head, which is great. <laughs> it feels like there's so much need in the world for this um, unconditional embrace of ourselves. And if I can be part of doing that, and it's, it feeds me too. So if I can be part of any kind of energy that is embracing who we are in this moment and, and activating self-love and compassion and kindness and nurturing, that we so willingly, I think a lot of people so willingly do this for other people, but it's so hard to give it to ourselves. And if we, if we figure out that the key is giving it to ourselves is ultimately giving it to other people because we're moving from that energy and space. And that's, that's what Bald is Beautiful came to be about. It started with my hair and just expanded into this whole life calling and mission and uh, constant learning to love myself and put that out in the world and also into myself. So, and, and, and the motto of Bald is Beautiful is always smile from the inside out. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Jared Martino and I'm the creator of Inner Warrior, turning pain into positives. And we're creating a tribe of warriors. If you'd like to submit your story for our blog or an upcoming shoot, please email us at stpvoice at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to connect with us on social media. Thanks so much.